Hello and welcome back to the Footsteps in the Past channel. Today we're working on my other old farmhouse, or my, the garage actually. So you can see behind me, the, the uh, soffit, the soffit here keeps falling down. It was installed improperly, and this is a common problem that we're running into. And I want to show you my, um, I'm going to show you my fix for that. And uh, look, we got a visitor, little chicken. So today, so today, all you're going to need is a tape measure. Uh, snips. I like to use a small screwdriver or drill driver for this. And then some, um, these are gutter screws or tech screws. Would be the, uh, the proper fix for this. So, uh, you may also need a ladder, um, extension ladder and a safety harness or something if you're going up. If you're going up a few uh, a few flights, uh, I'm lucky here. I can almost reach this soffit up here. So let's go up here. I'll show you what's going on. <clears throat> okay, as you can see, we have this here. It's called an F channel, which is actually proper. And then over here is they just bent a piece of uh, fascia here to bring it down, which is actually not bad either. But what happens is people use nails, um, and they uh, or they don't even in this case they didn't even nail this fascia up. So you can take and interlock this and interlock two or three pieces of the nail a piece, interlock two or three pieces of nail a piece, and that's typically what you see, and that's why the soffit starts to fall down like this. Uh, so what you all you need to do is we just need to pop the stuff back up in there and run a screw, two screws in every single piece all the way down the flight here. Uh, I'm missing a few pieces, so I picked up an extra piece of soffit. You can pick it up at pretty much any large hardware store will have a, a vinyl soffit in stock. You may need a special order an aluminum or steel soffit, but it's the same principles. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get going. One more thing I wanted to note while I'm up here is you wanna make sure that your fascia board didn't pull off of your uh, rafters. Um, that's, that's a common, problem is sometimes the gutter fills up with seeds or leaves and fills up with water and then now their gutter is holding 100 pounds of water when it's designed to hold no, no weight at all and that could pull your fascia board off so you kind of want to just grab a hold of your fascia board wiggle it back and forth and uh, make sure it's not loose this one was loose i already secured it before i decided to make the photo or the video because as you all know all i ever do is uh, work and fix up around my old houses <laughs> so again just take it shake it see if it's loose if it's loose all we have to do is drop down the gutter pull off the sp and shoot a couple of three inch screws into the rafter tails you may need to sister a board up here onto the rafter because sometimes at the end of these rafters like to rot off or you can use a four inch screw possibly uh, to put it in to get some good meat so all right I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece up got it got it ready to go Okay, hopefully you guys can see. So I'm, this piece I'm just going to pick up. I'm going to slide under the fascia. And this is a new piece. I didn't notice, but it's the wrong height of this F channel. So it's just going to be a little pain in the butt to get in there and get it. And uh, that piece is per essentially in. So this is the problem is it's in there. It feels tight. All this stuff isn't going anywhere. It's perfect. But uh, people will just will do this. Then they'll skip two or three pieces, and uh, that's why they're going to blow out. <laughs> For this particular job, if you don't have one, it's a smart idea to invest in the um, the hex driver with a magnetic tip to hold the uh, the screws in place. So um, we can do this one-handed. So now here's the the secret that nobody does, and this is really all that it's going to take to keep this soffit from blowing down. So you may need to sneak a board in up here above your F channel. A lot of people like to use J channel, and then they snip down the sides and fold it down. I'll show you what that looks like. Let's see if I can find a photo. Um, and they fold that down and that's really not awesome but if you secure the soffit to the to the actual J channel with the screws uh, it's not going to blow down so uh, I have a nice board up here on this side and then this side we have the F channel so we're going to put two screws in And 
that's really all there is to it. I'm going to do this times 100 all the way down. I'm probably only going to use three or four dollars worth of screws if you already have the drill and whatnot. This is a really relatively easy fix. I had a bunch of extra soffit uh, lying around from another job, so I got to use my missing pieces or essentially free. So um, I'm going to get this nasty looking soffit fixed up here for less than five bucks sorry if i'm rather close i'm standing on my ladder so less than five bucks all the way across here so this this is an ongoing problem this used to be a rental property for me i fixed it and then uh well i didn't fix it i just popped it back up in there like most homeowners do I just pop it back up in there we tried to sell the house uh that turned into rental property five years down the road it all fell down and it started to look like this again so just I'm, take the time and put this in and do this right and uh i'll probably sell this house here coming up so uh we're going to hopefully move out of this house and move into our other old farmhouse uh, so okay so we're going to get this right i'll check back in here in a little bit okay one thing i do want to note in this hot time or any time um, you want to be careful for things like this up in there you can see yellow jackets i guess Maybe you guys have already, maybe you guys have already, um, sorry, I'm working and talking at the same time. Maybe you guys have already put your soffit up and you're saying, hey, it falls down every year. I just pop it back up. It's really annoying. Get those pretty whitehead screws. You find them with the gutters, uh, the pretty whitehead screws. And you could come into your soffit and it's, and put it in at an angle and it will be exposed. Just make sure you go in the, uh, the ridges or the low the low parts of the soffit uh, it's not the prettiest but you know it's it's gonna work it's gonna hold it up and it'll keep it from falling down as long as you hit uh, the the F channel or the uh, a piece of wood up in here so I'll, sh I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about um, just because I want to show it to you not because I'm missing any but Okay, that little tiny screw there, if you put it in at a little bit of an angle, it's going to hit the top of the F channel. As long as you, um, as long as you do it in multiple locations, you know, every second or third ridge, even if you miss a couple of them, the majority you get in there, it's going to hold your soffit up. So it's going to look a ton better, and it's going to stop falling down on you, which is extremely annoying. So it's the screws. That's, that's all that it is. The screws. No nails. Make sure every piece has nails and screws on it. So I'm not going to lecture you anymore on that. Alright. About 37 more pieces to go.
here it is. It's dirty, ugly. Look at my hair, how dirty it is. All that nasty stuff falling down on your face when you're doing it. But it's up. And if you do it exactly like I say with the two screws and every single piece, six months from now, we have a tornado through here. The only thing that will be left standing in this garage will be this soffit. The whole thing will be falling over and it will just be right there. Um, it's not going anywhere unless something substantial happens. Of course, like I said, we're going to pressure wash this all off. It will be beautiful when we're done. As beautiful as it can get. Fortunately, I had to go all the way around this barn or garage. It's a 150 year old barn turned into a garage. Um, we had to go all the way around because we had raccoons get up in our soffit and they took out a bunch over here. As you can see down through here, so we get to go through and do all of that. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, Jay, Footsteps in the Past channel. This is my other old farmhouse. Thanks for watching.